Hello there, dear people who actually watch this thing. And uh, I think I'm going to be doing some changes with this series. First of all, I don't think I'm going to be showing everything, like every single quest or daily challenge or every time I do a DND, &D, because I feel like that would get really repetitive real soon. I feel like it already has actually, and I don't want the episodes to get too boring, you know. So I'm only going to be showing uh, the big quests and the big unlocks uh, that I do, not every single little quest, because I just I just want to do pretty much all the quests, and then half the episode would just be questing, and yeah, nobody wants to see that. Oh, also, and as you can see, I am 66 hunter. I think I was 30 something uh, last time you saw it. But that's because I finally got the farming level to farm these Chinchampas and I went to hunt some. But they are so freaking rare that it gave me over 30 levels, <laughs> up to 66 to get just two Chinchampas for breeding. Well, that's it so far. I think actually that now I'm going to be doing some more barrows. Unfortunately, the <laughs> enhanced salve amulet does not work on barrels, so I'm not gonna be using it. Guess that's it. Let's go. I really hope I can get at least one barrels item this time. Oh, and of course, I forgot my runes. Great. Ah. Hey, yes. Yes, finally. Oh, and it's a Gotham's chain skirt. All right, now that's my first barrels item. Let's let's leave this place. <laughs> oh, hey, I just killed the last barrels brother, and it gave me an ectoplasmator. That's pretty cool. I can use that for stuff later. Let's make some pouches. And my daily challenges are done. Give me the XP. Oh, levels. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh, that's really good. Ah, a weapon. Nice, Terox Great Axe. Hell yeah. All right, this is this is going well. Hmm. <laughs> I'm very happy with this one. A tier seventy melee weapon. That that's gonna be really handy. I'm getting a whole lot of runes out of this. I hope I can have something useful to use them on. But uh, now I should do something else. And I think that's gonna be my Reaper task, because I've been putting it off, I, <laughs> I just don't, didn't feel like doing Giant Maul again, but it's time, I guess. Let's go. Well, that's one more Reaper task done. Let's see what my next one is. I really don't want to get another Giant Maul. I'm just kinda tired of it. Alright. Let's see. Jed? Ah, no, thank you. I mean, if it was one... I'll, oh, wait. I, I want to change that. Barrels Brothers? Now that's different. I'm actually... <laughs> I'm actually gonna do that. Yay. Before going back to Barrels, however, I want to get a def Defender. It's not really because I need it right now, it's because you can upgrade it at Barrows. So yeah, I just want to get a Dragon Defender and if I have uh, it in my inventory while looting the chest, I have a chance for an extra drop which can make it into a tier 70 one. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Wait a minute! Maybe. Then. I can't even go in there. Ah, I can't enter the Warriors Guild. What the hell? I just realized you need 
130 combined level between attack and strength. So basically 65 strength and 65 attack. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not getting a defender then. Hey, so I couldn't finish the video before <laughs> the holidays began. So I've been away for like 10 days. Uh, and I, I basically couldn't play during that time because I was home and I only had my laptop and my laptop sucks and I c it, it can barely run RuneScape so I couldn't do anything other than uh, some AFK skills that didn't require much input. And obviously I could not record anything. But, as you can see, I trained quite a bit of mining, smithing, uh, crafting, and some divination as well. Basically trying to work on the skills that w uh, will eventually be required for invention. I'm not going to go too much into uh, the things that I got uh, now, because I, I'm gonna do that in the next episode. For now I just want to finish this episode and all that's left basically is the Barrows Brothers Reaper task. Oh and also uh, I've gotten quite a few construction levels because of this Christmas event. You basically just add the, these uh, Christmas papers you get from basically doing anything and get free construction XP. Nice. But yeah, let's let's just finish this episode. Let's go do twelve barrel skills and then a whole bunch more stuff in there. Oh, oh, what? All right. Okay, that's actually really good. Wow. I didn't actually expect to get a real good item. Now I don't have to worry about tier 70 range weapons because this is actually good, wow. And now I can even use the bolt tracks because they are these are only usable with uh, arrows. Oh, okay. Now that's surprising me. And actually Oh wait, that's not right. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, this is even worth 4 million. This is pretty good. Nothing special, but I already got 3 items. I'm pretty much satisfied with this. Alrighty. All these rooms are pretty good as well, because I can just use them for the uh, Viswax. Oh, by the way, while I was home and couldn't record, I tried the Viswax thing, so I'm, I'm gonna do that from now on. But yeah, get these nice barrels items. Eventually, when I get to invention, these are going to be really useful for you know, augmenting and then later disassembling, so yay. Oh, and also, I have managed to level my defense to 60. Just forgot to record it. So now I can use better armor, which I have already made. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm using the Dragon Helm instead of the or Orcalcum Helm. Uh, it gives a little bit less defense, but it actually gives damage bonus, and I think that's more important than a bit of extra armor. A couple things about the stuff I I was doing while I was home is I leveled up my crafting by making urns mostly. I have made a thousand infernal urns. It's basically like bone crusher, but for ashes. And I have also made over two thousand divination urns, but I already used up some of them. So yeah, I leveled up my smithing by just simply smithing, obviously. And uh, I think that's about it. I also leveled a bit of runecrafting, so it's sixty now. 
And I got a bunch of other holes in like farming and oh and they're born as well. Which reminds me, there's something I want to do before ending this episode. I have been hunting penguins every week. So I have 56 uh, points stacked up. Yes, I can buy a bunch of... Oh hey, I could buy 7 of the huge lamps. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be at least a couple herbal levels. Let's see. I'm just gonna do them one by one because that's more satisfying to me. Oh, that's one level. Two levels. Three levels. And just three levels. <clears throat> but I'm not that far from uh, the, the next one. I might actually get it by the time the next cracker is finished. Because that sometimes that gives uh, lamps as well. But they don't give that much XP. Let's see if I unlocked anything cool. Ooh, super restore potions. Th those are nice. Yeah, just snap them. That's fine. Like those. But yeah, I think it's time to end the episode here. Uh, I have so much more other stuff I want to do. But I'm gonna save that for the next episode. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to have to break your kneecaps. Bye!